Hi, I'm the Nature Kid, and in this video, I'm going to be exploring a dry creek bed near the Willamette River. So, I am at this dry creek bed that's near the Willamette River, and this is pretty interesting. So, like, so there's, like, grass growing, and you can tell that the rocks are, like, river rocks because they're, like, kind of round and smooth. And you can even see, like, old algae that was growing here, and it's pretty interesting. In this spot, you can really see that this, is, that this was once a creek, because, like, on these rocks, you can see old, dry moss. And, like, you, you can easily see that this moss has been swept by water. But then, like, so in the fall and winter, when this area is wetter, it's, it's full of water, and it's a creek. Oh, ooh, look at this. Look at this puddle. Whoa, in here. Look. See that? That. That is a bullfrog tadpole. Bullfrogs are actually not native to Oregon. They are an invasive species, and they actually eat native um, frogs. And they're actually a problem here. And even so, they're called American bullfrogs, even though they're not native. I mean, they might be native to the United States, I don't know, but they are not native here, at least. So, I, when I saw that bullfrog tadpole, I decided to catch it, but I lost it, and I'm trying to find where this tadpole is. Nope, nope, not right here. So, I just caught this bullfrog tadpole, and I decided to see if I could raise it into a frog. And, it, and it's, pretty, it's a pretty big tadpole. And like, and bullfrogs, they're not a native species of frog, so they, so it's not gonna harm the environment. Yeah, this is a bullfrog tadpole. Look at this snail. This is a, I don't know what kind of snail this is, but it's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a water snail that looks like this. Look at these. These plants are horsetails, and they grow in creek beds and near water. And unlike other plants, which reproduce through seeds, Horsetails produce spores in these like cone, in these like cone like things. Spores are produced, and they are dispersed by the wind to grow new horsetails. This is really weird. Check this out. So look at this log. What's weird about this log is these plants growing out of it that look like like they're not coming from seeds that fell on the log. It looks like they're growing straight out of the log. So, like they're growing from the log. So this would mean that the log is still alive and is producing shoots to grow. But what's even more weird about this is the shape of the leaves and the kind of log. This log is a cottonwood log. And these are the plants that are growing out of it. This is a cottonwood tree. 
And you can tell easily that its leaves have a totally different shape than the leaves of this of these plants. Like it could be possible that maybe some seeds landed on the log, but I doubt this because look, it doesn't look like a seed fell here. It looks like the plants are attached to the log and growing straight from the log. So that's weird. Kind of a mystery. I don't know why this is happening. Look at these maple trees. Something's wrong with them. The, their leaves are white and dusty. Oh, it's powder. It's powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is a mold that infects plants and it spreads really easily. And it's really hard to get rid of. And the reason why powdery mildew is bad is because it covers up the leaf so it blocks out the sun so that they so the plant cannot photosynthesize. But what's really bad is that there's a new strain of as I had heard that there's a new strain of powdery mildew that that you can't get rid of and it's and it's deadly for trees and it's like spreading and it's spread and it spreads really fast and just this year I've seen a lot of maple trees with with this powdery mildew on them even the saplings have powdery mildew this is a lacewing larva lacewing larvae are very beneficial for gardens because they eat aphids, which are pests. And they turn into a green flying bug called a lace swing, which pollinates flowers. And this lace wing larva is on a Shasta daisy, which is a common flower in this habitat. Another plant in the, that's growing on the dry creek bed is lemon balm, which is an herb in the mint family. Lemon balm is a relaxing herb that's, that's medicinal, and it smells really good. It smells really nice. And it is also edible. There isn't very much soil in a dry creek bed. It's mainly just rocks and sand. However, trees can grow here because of dead logs. A conifer seed has fallen onto this log and it is sprouting. And, the lo and as the log decomposes, it becomes soil really a good rich soil for the conifer seedling to grow into a tree. This flower is foxglove. It's beautiful, but it is deadly poisonous. In small amounts, it can be used as medicine, but foxglove is very poisonous. Its flowers are shaped so that bumblebees can enter the flower to get to the nectar and pollen at the base. Look at the base of this tree. Do you see those tooth marks? A beaver was chewing on the tree to make a dam. Beavers are endangered and they're Oregon State animal. They're pretty rare, so it's pretty cool to find beaver chew marks on a tree. Because that means that there's beavers that live here. You can see that in creeks and rivers, there's deeper and shallower places. because So this would be a deeper place, and then there's a hill 
and then, and so here it would be more shallower, and it's like that when the creek isn't dry during the winter. There's no willow trees in this area. There is cottonwoods, and those roots that are coming from the cottonwood, but on these roots, growing out of these roots, there's the same kind of plant that looks more like a willow than a cottonwood, but it looks like it's like actually growing out of the roots, out of the cottonwood roots, and, there's, and, there, and it doesn't look like there was seeds. And I mean, maybe this is, maybe younger cottonwoods have different shaped leaves, but I don't, I don't know why. There's a different kind of plant with different shaped leaves growing out of these cottonwood roots and logs. If you have any ideas of what this is, leave it in the comments below. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more Nature Kid videos. Bye!